um, I traded target and the lesson that I learned uh, today uh, I hope has convinced me to utilize a uh, safety net in trading and what I've noticed uh, about this particular situation is that um, the use of a safety net right under this uh, the low point of this wick uh, is a is a good idea. Today I entered here at this point. If I were to make myself, uh, if I were to uh, point to a point where I I purchased it, it would be this point, uh, and I bought two, knowing that there would be a safety net, and I uh, and that safety net will. Uh, preserve me from from uh, significant drawdown. Then, as the day went by, I thought, okay, it's down one R. I'm thinking, okay, so it's going to come back. And I, these are the thinking the thinking that I've uh, performed uh, all the time. And in reality, what I should have known is that when as soon as it hit this on this candle, I should have exited, but I did not. And then, as it pro progressed and studied uh, to continue, um, the mindset at this point is pinging me, saying, okay, it's going to come back, it's going to come back, it's going to come back, it's going to come back. And then, when it stabilized, and it's, uh, it, when it settled onto this, it finally occurred to me, it's not coming back. So at this point here is the point where I exited, and immediately shot up, as though the market knew that I had exited. So the point is that um, the safety net needs to be adjusted uh, accordingly so that, so that the uh, drawdown is small and uh, the next day I can trade. That is, the, that is the idea behind making these trades. And hopefully um, I can minimize this and stick to the rule and become, be rigid in in, in the practice of it, as this consistently looking for this point to this stable point to exit has been an issue in the past, and therefore, if I were to exit here, I'm adjusting my consistently to consistency to do something different, and so I look forward to making that transition.